Today we'll be talking about how adaptive arrays calculate coverage and resolution and the changes we've made in version 2.8. Previously, coverage was calculated by surfaces directly in front of the arrays. With this new method, side surfaces that fall within the horizontal coverage pattern are now taken into account. Because the new method may change coverage and aiming lines on files using the original method, we've created a switchable option under Options than Adaptive Venue Detection. Narrow is the default when resolution first opens and represents the original method, and wide represents the updated method. Additionally, new options have been added to the view menu. By enabling show sweep lines, resolution will display a series of green lines indicating which sections of each surface are being covered. Upon enabling show venue detection, Resolution will populate a pink line representing how the venue is being calculated. Let's pull up our first model using narrow method. We'll be looking at a section of a stadium with part of the top bowl deselected as an audience area. Notice how the coverage starts and stops based only on vertical distance and height from surfaces directly in front of the array. This is further illustrated by observing aiming lines in ISO view. Using the same model and coverage, let's take a look at how the wide method calculates differently. Even though the specified coverage stops previous to the top of the bowl, you can see aiming lines are extended to compensate for surfaces off to the side. The green sweep lines indicate which part of the surface is being calculated. Coverage may also be extended beyond the specified start and end values. Let's open up a new model and take a look. To access coverage extension, select the array at the column level and scroll down to the bottom of the properties window. No extension will mean coverage will be exactly equal to what is configured in resolution. Choosing hard, medium, soft, respectively 0, negative 3, and negative 6 dB, we'll pick a target SPL in the center of coverage, then extend that 0, negative 3, and negative 6 dB to the start and stop of coverage. This will then alter the aiming lines to extend past the coverage area to attain a more even performance. Also notice how the pink line changes as extension values are modified. This is the visual representation of the venue detection we discussed earlier that shows how resolution is calculating the venue. So this just scratches the surface on the possibilities of adaptive. Please contact our applications team to set up a training, either online or in person, to learn more.